Members of various Melbourne amateur radio clubs were provided with an invitation for a weekend of technical talks and an entire field on offer to set up various marginally practical antennas and get on the air. The event takes place over Saturday and Sunday, but the field is open from Friday evening for those wanting to set up camp. The field is behind the Allian Electronics Company's production facility and the event's called Antenna Palooza. First thing to do is set up camp, but the second thing to do, so not exactly liking how small our camping table was, I decided to build a wildly impractical replacement using all the spare 2020 t slot I had lying around from various 3D printer projects and a sheet of plywood. Assembly is only about several times more complicated than the worst piece of IKEA furniture imaginable, but once it's built, it's like having a proper desk while camping. The second project is to free stamp the spider beam pole with some guy ropes. We've previously not done this, instead just attaching it to a solid object at the base. So with 50 meters of rope and some wooden tensioners, it's time to get building. And there it is, ready to take the inverted V antenna, or two of them. Some say this looks like a flagpole, so it may as well have some flags. A little annoyingly, the propagation died shortly after I finally got WSJTX installed. Oh well. Uh, we weren't forecast rain. Saturday morning, some breakfast, then the day trippers arrive. About half the attendees usually camp, the other half driving in for the day. I've reversed polarity of choice fly voltage for 10 seconds. <laughs> you can extend the range of the antenna while you're driving. Uh, British Standard Brass. The weather wasn't great, with high winds that constantly tried to ruin everything. It's a 75 ohm coach, which is mostly air dielectric, quite low loss. It looks almost as if I'm doing something very, very technical and serious. Okay. Yeah. Not going well. Sunday morning, breakfast and more playing with antennas. It is too short because it's correct at a higher frequency. So we need to move the arms of the V together. So that's closer to acceptable. And the odd technical problem to be sorted out. Swapping it for the base of another antenna worked, but it had electrical continuity. I don't know what's wrong with it. Lunch and time for more talk. On the finer points of maritime radio operation, this time from someone who has outfitted military ships and submarines. Oh, a lot of people thought, oh, you know, oh, there must be safety the reason why they put radio on ships. And it wasn't. It was basically so the, the uh, people in the gentry could uh, afford to send messages or receive messages for, uh, for whatever needs they had, one of their stocks, investments, all that sort of stuff. And the next problem with a situation like this is that quite often, like here, you're not on level ground. And that is adjusting. We had some wonderful antennas and give it a go. And so I'm playing around on our inverted V. Thank you, VK5QD, VK3FUR. 
And then it was Sunday evening. The event pavilion was being dismantled and it was the same for our campsite. It was a fun time and we'll certainly be back next year. I think a lot were discouraged from camping due to the weather so let's hope that's better next year. Those that were were hiding in the forest as it provided some much needed shelter from the wind. And that's all for this one. There's a few more coming, a little more electronics and something a bit more four-wheel drivey. Subscribe so that you don't miss it.